What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about what to do if your PlayStation 5 Slim is experiencing the red light of death. Let's get right into this. The first thing to note is that the red light of death is usually due to overheating. So if your console is experiencing a lot of overheating issues or overheating errors, as a result, it usually ends up going into the red light of death for PlayStation. So if you do have the red light of death and you know you've experienced a lot of overheating issues, first address those overheating issues. Number one, make sure that everything is clean in the console. Check the vents to make sure that they are clean and dust free. You're going to want to open the white cover covers up and take a look at the fan as well and make sure everything is clean in there. If not, clean everything out and hopefully the red light of death does go away for you. You're going to want to also make sure that you have your PlayStation 5 Slim placed in a well-ventilated area so it has enough airflow. Now, if you're still experiencing the red light of death on your PlayStation 5 Slim, there is a few things that you can try additionally. Number one, you're going to try to attempt to power cycle your PlayStation 5 Slim. Power cycling your console does fix a lot of minor issues and it can help with the PlayStation 5 red light of death. To do a power cycle, you're simply going to turn off your PlayStation 5 Slim. You're then gonna unplug the power cable. You're going to let it rest for about 30 seconds. After 30 seconds, you're then gonna press and hold the power button with everything unplugged, and you're gonna press and hold that power button for about 10 seconds. After you've pressed and held the power button for 10 seconds, with everything still unplugged, you're gonna wait in another additional 30 seconds before plugging everything back in and trying to turn on the console. Essentially, power cycling your console is just draining all of the remaining power that's inside your console out of the console. Next, if power cycling did not work for you, you are going to want to attempt to enter safe mode. Now, not everybody that experiences the red light of death can get into safe mode, but hopefully you can to try these steps. To enter safe mode, you're going to turn off your PlayStation 5 Slim. You're going to press and hold the power button until you hear two beeps, after which time you should see it appear on the screen. After which time you should see it appear on the screen, launching into safe mode. All you have to do is connect your controller to your console with a USB cable, and then you can navigate through the settings. What you're going to want to select is rebuild database and depending on how much you have saved on your PlayStation 5 Slim, it might take a little bit longer to complete this process. Just be patient and follow the on-screen steps. Now unfortunately, if cleaning out your PlayStation 5 Slim, power cycling it, and rebuilding the database did not work for you, there might be a bigger issue with your PlayStation 5 Slim. If you know you've experienced a lot of overheating issues with it, then it's recommended to either take it in for warranty if you still have a warranty, or take it in for repairs if you are outside of your warranty, and see if there's anything internally that could be damaged from it overheating repeatedly. Hopefully, one of my other methods did work for you, and hopefully your PlayStation 5 is now working properly. If it is, please leave a like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.